After years of learning photography, I am so excited to finally be launching the Boxwood presets. I developed these presets for my own photos and I'm so excited to share them with you. These are the presets that I use throughout my Instagram feed, on photos on my blog. I love these presets because they make the natural organic elements of the photo pop and they don't add too much of a filter or an overlay so the photos look really natural and professional and bright and airy and I couldn't be more excited to share them with you. I want to tell you a little bit about each preset and how I use them because each one I use for different settings. I want to start with the buckwheat. The buckwheat is the most intense, most altering preset. And I really only use this preset, and this is really what I do use for my food photography. This preset adds a lot of contrast, it desaturates a little bit, and it will make your photos feel pretty moody. So if you try and use this on a photo of yourself, you're gonna hate the way it looks. This preset is not for use on people. I mean, you could, but it's not gonna look good. So the buckwheat is really something that I reserve for food photography. I also really like this preset for animal photos in the snow. I use this preset for a lot of the prints that I sell in my shop. It adds a lot of contrast, a lot of structure, and it makes it almost feel more artistic than anything else. So I really reserve this preset for special occasions. This is not your everyday go-to preset, but it is one that I really love, so I did want to include it in the collection. Next, I want to talk about the alfalfa preset, which is by far my favorite preset. I think I use this on almost all of my photos. The alfalfa preset is amazing for interiors and exteriors, especially if you're shooting with a lot of green. Sometimes you'll buy presets and the greens become really altered or they become kind of a funny color and I really worked hard to perfect the greens in the alfalfa so that they look beautiful. You can check it out in my feed. If you see a photo in my feed and it uses green, I probably use the alfalfa preset. It's one of my very favorites. Not only does the alfalfa preset make all of the greens really pop, it's also great for skin texture and skin tone. It will really soften your skin texture and really make your, your skin tone bright and pop and beautiful. Next, let's talk about the rosemary. I developed the rosemary preset for those photos that you wanna use, but the lighting maybe just wasn't that great, the shadows are kind of harsh, and you're trying to edit it and it's not turning out. The rosemary preset is perfect for those situations. It's not your everyday go-to preset unless you really like that filtered look. It does add a little bit of a filter, but I wanted to include something like this in the collection. For photos that you really wanted to edit, you really wanted them to look good, but the lighting was just a little bit off, the rosemary is a great uh, correcting preset and I really like using it when there's people in the photo because it really softens the skin tone and it makes everybody just look good. I love using the elderberry for photos that I take outside and inside. The elderberry makes all of the reds and the oranges really pop and it will also soften your skin tone too. The truffles preset is very similar to the elderberry preset but it's a little bit less saturated and it's going to add a little bit of structure and detail so it's not going to soften your skin tone it's not great for people photos but it's great for interior shots especially if you have a lot of colors going on it will make all of those colors blend really well together and i love the truffles preset lastly but not least because she would get mad at me the butternut preset the butternut preset is going to make your photos really, really light, really, really airy, and really, really soft. Kind of the opposite of her personality. <laughs> but I really wanted to include something like this for really just those dreamy, light, bright, and airy photos. The butternut preset feels a little bit warmer than the rest of the presets, so you can always adjust the temperature and the exposure after you've applied the preset so that you can get it just right for the photo that you're editing. I just wanna say thank you so much for your support of these presets. I worked really hard on them and I hope that you find them helpful. You can watch my next video for all of my photography tips and tricks. And if you're on YouTube often, I hope that you will subscribe. Don't forget, you can always visit me at boxedavenue.com.